Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler review series beads I've been doing for the while now. Go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm gonna talk about the stuff. I'm gonna let you know all you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks. I mean, this pretty much proves that we're getting close to fall, so we're getting there. I'm so excited. But anyway, uh, folks, super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items whilst I'm doing that. I mean, yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm inside the truck. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm wearing my grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm in the truck and I'm wearing grody, grody work clothes, that means that I was on my way home to, from work and I found some shit to review for you. That is pretty much the case today. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Uh, yeah, no, I got off of work. I went over there. I needed to pick up some supplies. And I was like, ah, you know. First, I went to the Target, hit up a couple things there. Uh, wasn't really, you know, too much that I was interested in. But I had to wait because I'm waiting for the, uh, the pet store that's next to the Target to open up. You know, it's a little bit of a time disparity between when Target opens versus when pet store opens so i decided to hit up the jewel that happened to be next to that and pretty much as soon as i got in there i found something to review and it's definitely a sign that fall has maybe not arrived but that we're getting there because folks we're reviewing boom it's clyde's authentic and shit's legit apple cider cake donuts now here's the thing you might not know about your good buddy brandon wenzel I love apple cider. I love apple cider so much, it should be a damn near illegal, okay? Like, I, I would sell out, I would do horrible, terrible things for some really good apple cider. And I'm an apple cider slut, too. I don't give a damn. Like, as soon as apple cider season hits, I'm just, I'm just down in it as much as I can get my hands up. I love it. Even though, yes, it is technically available all year round. It tastes better in the fall. But here's the thing with that in mind. I've never had apple cider donuts. I don't know how. Like, it's a thing that I've wanted to do for so long and just, it just never occurred. And today I was here and it was there and it was like, this is it. This is the time we're doing it. So, let's go ahead and open this up. I hope these are as good as I've always dreamed. Mind you, they're not like, you know, fresh to, fresh to order. So, you know, I got to take that into account. But, so let's go ahead. Get a donut, and then let's do a little bit of a thing for the for the thumbnail. Ooh, donutty! Ha ha ha! Let's try not to let my inner child die by eating this. Hmm. Well, he might not be dead, but my inner child definitely, I think, took a nice shot to the head with this one. Hmm. I mean, it's okay. It's drier than I was expecting. I mean, it's a cake donut, you know, so you kind of expect. But I have to admit, I was, you know, there's not a lot of moistness. Um... I mean, it's, you know, semi-sweet. Like, am I supposed to be getting, like, an apple taste? Because I don't feel like I'm getting much of an apple taste. Like, there might be a hint of something. But, hmm. I think, hmm. If I didn't know any better, I would think these were just fairly normal cake donuts with some granulated sugar on them. Like, I'm really not getting much of anything extra. Maybe a little bit again. I, I, you know, there might be like an essence of something apple cider related, but it's definitely not a prominent flavor. That sucks. It's very okay. 
Maybe if it was made fresh to order, it would be better, but... Yeah, I just, I'm not getting much out of it. Like, it's an okay cake donut. I wouldn't say it's great, but it's, you know, it's okay. Um, like I said, it's dry, but... And just flavor-wise, yeah, it's just mostly like a cake donut, but just, you know, some sugar, you know, yeah. Um. Yeah, man, I'm just, I'm not really getting much from it. I don't dislike it, but by that same token, I don't really like it all that much either. Hmm. And, yeah, I mean, again, maybe there's something there to it. I'm just not getting much, you know, like, I want it to really pop with, you know, apple cider flavor. I'm really not getting that. If there is something there, it's it's pretty muted. Um, okay. Well, cake itself, the donut itself, it, it's an okay cake donut. It's sweet, not overly so. You know, so if you prefer your donuts a little bit more semi-sweet, sure. Uh, yeah, man. I, honestly, there's just not much to say. It's on, It's really just very disappointing to me. I had this thing, you know, I built it up in my head, you know, and yeah, some of that's hype, you know, it's just... But no, I mean, I, I feel like... I'm definitely going to have to go out and find, like, some proper apple cider donuts. Because I feel like these... No offense to Clyde's, I mean, I, would, I don't know if I've ever gotten donuts from Clyde's, but I feel like these are kind of weak. I, I gotta definitely hit up, like, a better donut spot. Um, anyway, two questions have to be asked. Would I get them again? Would I recommend them? No, no. I just, I, you know, for me, it's like, even if I'm just taking it strictly as a donut, if I'm taking my personal disappointment out of the, out of the equation, it's just a very okay cake donut. I've had better cake donuts. I've had way worse cake donuts. It's fine. It's like a C plus cake donut. Um, I don't really want a C plus cake donut. Like if I'm going to go out and get a donut, I mean, yeah, sometimes you just get a bullshit donut, you know, gas station donut or what have you. But, like, if I really want a good donut, like, I've got good donut places I could go to. That's what I would do. I would never just get a basic bitch donut just because. Uh, and then you have the disappointment aspect on top of it. So it's like, yeah, why would I? And as for recommending it, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe they're really good apple cider donuts. Maybe apple cider donuts just suck a lot and I've just, you know, have been blissfully unaware this whole time. I really don't know, but I have to hope that other apple cider donuts are better than these. With that being the case, I probably would recommend trying other ones, though I can't recommend any in particular because, again, first time trying them. Sorry, Clydes, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm not even apologizing. You hurt my inner Brandon. Okay, that guy, that little guy has gone through fucking enough, and you went over there and you just made it worse for him. It's like, man, now he's got to go over there, he's got to deal with all kinds of memories and you know dealing with stuff and you know just you know just embarrassing things and things are difficult to comprehend at that age and stuff like that and all kinds of just goofy shit you know and then on top of that disappointing donuts why would you do that to tiny brandon i don't appreciate it anyway five things before i get out of here have yourself a great rest of the day spectacular as we money metro rest of month spend this rest of your folks if you can go over there yourselves a truly Apple cider-tastic rest of your life, because apple cider is wonderful. Wonderful. Maybe I'll do an apple cider comparison special. That might be a thing that I'll do. I think I'll try to do that. Don't hold me to it. Um, final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole, especially when you're over there. And you're living in this world where you face such monumental disappointments. But it is important, even when we face said monumental disappointments that just crush our inner selves, when we do face those types of situations, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholeness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. 
very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to try yourself out. Maybe you've had apple cider donuts, and maybe you can confirm yay or nay how delicious or lack thereof they are. If that's the case, please hit me up in the comments. Let me the fuck know. I would genuinely like to be proven wrong on this one. I'd love for somebody to go over there and be like, Brandon, if you get the real ones, they're fantastic, they're amazing, it will change your life, you'll go back to school, you'll get better at, you know, dealing with people in social situations, you'll finally get your fat ass back to the gym, you know, all those things. Or conversely, uh, we should just work on self-improvement regardless of the status of donuts in our lives. There we go. Bye.